Let's bring in uh, Agostino Neto. Y your thoughts on, on calls to have the president address himself to these issues and admit there's a problem and perhaps even take action? Um, I mean, I really think I listened to my colleague, Honorable Gedinji. Uh, uh, the truth of the matter is the president needs to speak to Kenyans right now and be honest about a couple of things. Um, you know, he mentions the fact that uh, we have institutions like the ESEC that are supposed to be fighting and dealing with corruption. Uh, whereas that is true, I mean, I think what we've seen in the past couple of days is an uh, ESEC that has been stifled. You do not have commissioners for the past five, six months, and anyone else uh, who wants to be honest with the ESEC will be ensured that all the cases that the ESEC is in prosecuting now, if at all they took them to court, someone can challenge... Uh, but isn't the, the secretary... The still operational? The security is. is operational, but you see the validity of the commission without the commissioners is, is questionable. Okay. So that you can easily go to court and question the validity of the commission functioning yeah. without commissioners. And you see, this is a, a, a president's uh, make. I mean, he, he ensured that the commissioners are not there. And right now, three, uh, four months... I'm sorry. Uh, yes, and I knew you were going to come that. And no, that's no, no, I, I, I was leading, I was uh, leading him to how that. How would you say that? Uh, you know, how right you now... Substantiate what you just that's said. Substantiate. Good. You make wild um, good. Thank you. Uh, the thing is, that uh, the commissioners have been removed out of office for the past three, four months right now, out of thanks to a petition that the president should have honestly had. And uh, even before uh, the, the, the petitions of the commissioners were had, the commissioners are out of, out of office. Uh, the president has sat on the uh, appointment of the commissioners for the longest possible right now. I mean, it's a preserve, it's, 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 it's his duty to appoint the commissioners right now. We don't have commissioners. If he's really keen on fighting corruption, he should ensure that commissioners are in office. They're not in office right now. And cases are still going on. That aside, We've seen the president insist on a few cabinet secretaries step aside, and which has been very good. Uh, Charity Gill is at home, uh, Davis Chetri is at home, but there's this particular one who no one looks like wants to touch. And even if at all they do not want to touch her, we're saying uh, the principle of the rule of law is that you know, the law should apply equally to almost everyone. That what is good for this one should also be good for the other one. Uh, if, for example, Charity Gill is going to go home on allegations, or stepping aside on the basis of allegations. So everyone else who, on the basis of allegations, has been found that some things are wrong with her ministry, ought to go home. But in the case of Waiguru, it looks like she's going to stay put. And the president, um, and I said on a different set somewhere else, that we must be very careful that you do not let people uh, bring down uh, the confidence people have in the government. But of course, for us in the position, we're happy for people not to have confidence in this particular government. All right.